you guys. I know it's been a while since you've heard from me. I've kind of been on a vacation, staycation of sorts. And I ordered these brushes, ooh, maybe a week and a half ago, and I've been really excited about getting them and trying them out, so I thought that I would share this with you today. All right, so let's see, the box is open. There is a little Rosemary & Co. sticker and a thank you note. So Rosemary & Co. is a company in the UK that makes artist quality brushes, not just for watercolor, but for all types of painting. Ooh, and there is a catalog, and this is like, this is like serious. Like this paper is like really heavy duty. And let's see what's in here. Brush cleaning, making your brushes work workshops, magic of brush marks. This is really cool. So this looks like a little magazine, I guess. I thought this was a catalog, but apparently it's a Rosemary & Co. publication newsletter. Wow, very nice. I will have to look at that in more detail later. All right, getting down to the good stuff. The usual bubble wrap. And here are the brushes. So I only ordered like small sizes. I have some bigger brushes that are good for me for now and I, I don't need any bigger brushes, but my smaller brushes were really starting to show some wear and tear. So that's what I've ordered here. These are all a synthetic blend and they are the longer tip. Let me see what they're called. So they're called Designer Pointed Sable Mix and they're the Series 402. And I got these because I really like the idea of having like this really fine point and that the brush would hold more water. I'm trying to see if this opens or if I have to cut it. And it looks like I have to cut it. And then this, I'm really excited about this one. This is a travel brush. So like the handle will come off and flip around. Because I have a travel palette that I got that I'm slowly in the process of collecting paint for. So I'm, I've been buying two paints and I'm gonna use the two paints. Um, I'm gonna use the two paints. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. So that comes off, goes on like that. And that's like the perfect size to fit in a uh, travel palette. I believe this is I think this is a size six. Yes, so this is the pocket sable pointed round size six. Cannot wait to try this. But that's gonna go into my travel kit. And then let's open this. So I predominantly use um, round brushes or quill brushes. I don't really use any chisel brushes. And then I realized that's probably because all of the chisel brushes or square ended brushes that I have are really horrendously old and all worn out. So I'm excited to have a new, a new one. And I wasn't sure what size to order. I think that this is probably a good place to start. And then let's get to these. So I ordered on the evens size zero through size eight round brushes. So there's a really nice range here of brushes. 
and they have these really nice wooden handles and I like the shorter handle um, I know some people like longer handles but I like these shorter handled ones so let's get rid of this box and all of this junk all right so what color oh I know so I was feeling inspired today to try out some pink but let's just see what kind of marks we can make with this brush. Lovely dry brush. I can get some really tiny marks. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of playing to see what I can do with this. I mean, it's generally, it's going to behave like a round brush, like all round brushes. It has a really nice point on it, and I do think that it holds a, uh, a good load of pigment. I really like them so far. I'm not going to do all of them. They should all perform basically the same, just in different sizes. And I'm, I'm excited about using these in my work and maybe this will get me motivated and get me back in the swing of things and back to painting. And I will admit I've been kind of struggling lately with trying to find motivation to work on stuff. I kind of started to feel like I'm spinning my wheels and not really getting anywhere. So, oh, you know, it's of the ups and downs of being an artist, I guess. All I can do is just try to keep my head up and keep trying. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you like these brushes as much as I do. And if you have an opportunity to, look them up. Try them out. They have a ton of different types of brushes for everything you could possibly imagine. And the prices are really affordable. Um, shipping was a little bit more than I normally pay simply because it was international shipping, but it's just the standard um, international shipping fee that you could expect from ordering anything from overseas. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.